Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv. Today I'm going to be talking about an application for the iPhone. This one is called Simply Tweet. And I'll give you five virtual dollars if you can guess what it does. Hmm. Simply Tweet. Yeah, it's a Twitter app. <laughs> no, I'm not giving you any money because I can't hear or see you because I'm talking to a camera. But anyway, Simply Tweet is available on the iTunes Store. I'm going to talk about it today. So I'm going to zoom in just a tad here. Hopefully I'll get a good focus. And uh, let's go to Simply Tweet. And Simply Tweet is available. Let me get a price for you. I always check a price right when I'm doing a video because I have been bitten in the past when things, prices change between the time I look and the time I do a video. This one is Simply Tweet 2.0 Twitter with push notifications and it's $4.99 but you can also get a light version of this app for free if you want to give it a try so there's a Simply Tweet Lite 2.0 Lite and it does include push notifications and has some other limitations that I'm not going to discuss but here I have the full version the $5 version from Motion OBJ all right. So first off, let me let me just talk about this app from an overall perspective before I give you an uh, overview of some of the features. This is one of the few Twitter apps. There's a ton of them on the iPhone. This is one of the few Twitter apps out there that has a ton of features. And I'm talking about way almost too many features. It's, it's one of the few apps that has that many features but keeps the interface simple. All right, sometimes when you have all these different features, they can get cluttered in a way, they can get all kinds of all kinds of grief because people see all these buttons they don't know what to do. This looks fairly simple. If you can see, it's got this, the basic tabs at the bottom. It's got my my timeline in the middle that I can scroll up and down with and I can see my um people that I'm following. And also in the middle or on the bottom near the middle, there's a mentions button. You can see all the mentions of your name. This is the new name for Twitter reply. So every time somebody mentions my Twitter name at Buana, you'll see all the different uh tweets here. All right, there's there's my direct messages. Here's a search and it's got a proximity search by kilometer. There's one kilometers, two kilometers, five kilometers, blah, blah, blah. Or I can search for a term. I'm going to use PS3 today. Uh, PS3. And it'll show me all the tweets for PS3. Very quick app. And then there's some more things. Um, gamers is something I'm going to talk about a little bit later. That's a group of users. Uh, you can see Twitter trends, of course. As you can see, these things aren't in your face. Uh, they're kind of, they're kind of, subtle so you don't have to worry about it confusing you you can see your favorites all right you can go to a specific twitter user if you know their name if you want to check out their feed you can also uh add additional accounts and it also supports hootsuite and i mean i'm going to link to their page you guys are going to see this thing supports so much and one thing i like on here is that it also supports photo search so if i want to search for i'm going to stick with ps3 just because i'm thinking about it right now um, tap search and you can do a photo search on Twitter for everything related to PS3 and here's a picture of the PS3 slant very very cool right very cool like it I like it I like it a lot all right and then you can so you can look at the public timeline uh, you can do notes you can do your own personal notes right within this app see your block users and here's the one of the cool things save views you can edit and create save the views and what does that do you can basically create groups of users this is something that TweetDeck made popular in the uh in the twitter app space and i've already created one called gamers and from here i have a couple of gamers i have um i have one versus 100 xbox live beta gamers tv which is our uh beta gamers uh channel on justin not tv uh killzone.com and ps3 attitude that uh, these are people that I added in the gamers group and i can add more by tapping on this green plus sign and I can add different users from my Twitter list very very cool right so when I come back here you saw when the very first thing I saw was gamers and I can go here and see the timeline of just those subsets of users now you can see that that wasn't in your face that was kind of buried kind of you know down there and that's the thing I, I want to emphasize is that this app is very simple all right and it also supports swiping so if i wanted to reply to this i could swipe on it and i can hit a reply i can also see also see the conversation and i believe this check mark was just highlighted i'm not sure exactly what it does but i think it just highlights it when i hit that you can see a green check mark comes on the 
on the right side of it. I think it'll save it in the timeline. I have to look at that more. But anyway, this is simply tweak, guys. I think it's worth five dollars. I do. Why? Well, let me talk about just some of the features. All right. We talked about photo search, Hootsuite integration. All right. You can update your profile, bookmark like support, landscape drafting mode, landscape view for built-in web browser, tweak shrink, URL shortening, Insta paper support, posterous support. Poster is support. I'm sorry, I keep pronouncing it wrong. Twitpic, Yfrog, Imagely, Twitter pics. You can browse conversations all in this little app. It does everything. And it also supports themes. If you don't like this theme, I can go into my settings here. Find, uh, let's see, let's wait for the apps to come up and simply tweet. And here I can configure other, other apps. I can configure uh, Instapaper if I want, my Twitter. Uh, I can load all tweets since last read. Bunch of different things in here. Bunch of. I'm not going to talk about all of these. You can explore these for yourself. And there's tons of other reviews that have gone into this. But check this out. you got different themes to choose from. So if I want to choose silver, I go back. Go back. See? Go into uh, Simply Tweet. And now I have the silver theme. It's not necessarily a dark theme, but it's a lighter theme. All right. This is Buona from Buona.tv. I'm not going to drag it on even more. Simply Tweet is a great Twitter app for the iPhone. All right, guys. It, it, it has a ton of features, but it keeps the simple, intuitive interface, which I think a lot of people like about Twitter apps out there. All right, guys. Take care and enjoy Simply Tweet. Again, $4.99, but you can get a light client for free from Motion OBJ uh, on the iTunes App Store. Take care, guys.